Well, hello and welcome to the Accelerated Growth Program. This is video 11 and you are almost done. Let's look at where we are in the process chart. So there are 10 steps to this program. Filling out your initial trigger log. Step two, reflecting on your trigger log and learning from it, discovering the patterns. Step three, using what you learned from the trigger log and identifying an unmet need that you will carry into your empowerment log. Step four, spending some time logging in your empowerment log and gathering examples of when you've gotten this need met to varying degrees. Then step number five, that's, this is your reflection paragraph on what you've learned from your empowerment log. What patterns are you seeing? What are the thought patterns that are contributing to how much you get of what you need? You use that to identify your scarcity belief and you carry that into your abundance log. Then you keep your abundance log for a while and you continue to collect evidence that shows you that what you once believed was scarce is actually likely pretty abundant in the world, not just for you, but for others. And then you begin a process of noticing how you're shifting as you're beginning to learn that what you, want, once, you, what you once thought wasn't available to you is available to you. But it's a slow process. It's not something that you can just rip open like a, taking a Band-Aid off a wound. So you have to slowly and steadily train your brain to develop a new belief system that supports the world more accurately and supports you and serves you better. So what you've been in now is your conscious practice stage where you've been working really hard to be mindful. You've probably been journaling a lot, discussing with friends your shifts, really trying to make an active effort to notice your shifts. After a period of conscious practice, and what I'd really recommend is maybe at least a few weeks of conscious practice, we move into step 10, which I will call your plateau or settling. In this phase, you actually do allow yourself to let go of it for a while. And there's a reason for this. Everything that you've done in the intensive, in this accelerated growth program, it's intense, deep work. It forces you to think. It forces you to notice things. It takes a lot of mental effort. And you can't do this while also focusing intensely on other things in your life. So during your settling phase, what you're doing now is you're allowing all of this to just sit in your brain and you're allowing it to grow. You're actually building your paradigm now slowly. You're allowing your brain to build your paradigm around all the activities that you just do in your life normally. So maybe you start focusing on more surface level things like your time management or a project that you're working on, maybe excelling at work. But everything that you do during the settling phase, you're going to notice now that you're going to be able to do it a little bit more effectively because you're not hindered by the scarcity belief and by the unmet needs that you had before that were triggering you. So you're not as triggered. You're more confident. You're more empowered. You're able to do more of what you want. It's easier for you to get things done. People feel like you've changed. You're getting more cooperation from people. The settling part can take as long as you want. What we do here in the program is go through an intensive a couple of times a year, and then the rest of the year we go through a settling process where we still talk about accelerated growth in two of our classes each month, just so that people can keep it present of mind but we don't really push it down in an intensive way. So we talk about people issues. We talk about productivity. We talk about organization and business systems and boundaries and being effective as a leader. We talk about all of those things. But accelerated growth and all these concepts, they weave their way into it and around it. And they develop a strong foundation for you to continue this process of growth. So I want to thank you 
for taking the time to take all of these classes to engage fully. And remember, as always, you can reach out to me if you have any questions. If you have coaching calls with me, we can discuss your questions on the coaching calls. If you are working with a mentor, you can discuss with a mentor. And if you're in the group program, we continuously have classes every single month that you can use to just dip in and remind yourself of what's going on and keep all of this present of mind. This is our second to last class. We have one more video for you. And until then, thanks for engaging. Enjoy the settling process. Put everything away. Maybe decide in your journal what you want to take with you and keep remembering as you relax. But I want to congratulate you on doing a great job with all of the intensive work that we've been doing over the past several weeks.